Like we didn't <laughs> cover this in orientation. <laughs> Apparently, the unit had been a palliative peds unit before it turned into a medical palliative oh, unit for sad. adults. And patients back. regularly saw small kids giving them candy right before they passed. She suggested I call the family ASAP. The patient died two hours later. Oh. See, I told you. Close to death. This, this happened three more times in the six months I worked on that unit. Welcome to Nurse Speak. I am your host, E.B. from Nurse Life RN. Every week, we are going to look at stories that you send in to see what it's truly like to be a nurse right now. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Nurse Speak by Nurse Life RN. I am your host, EB. So, for this episode of the Nurse Speak podcast, we're going to be doing ghost stories. Wow, that was good. That was like too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be doing sexy ghost stories. <laughs> sexy, sexy ghost stories. Sexy story non ghost stories. Bit of tea. <laughs> what happens when, when the paranormal tries to put it down? <laughs> This is one of the more popular ones. Every time we post this, we get tons of messages about it. Um, I know on the story feed, it's the one that always has the most engagement. Um, I personally sometimes don't like them because <laughs> when I when I read them, it's usually like at night. And I'm like screenshotting things to like post. <laughs> and the story, some of them sound stupid during the daytime. But at nighttime, it's a, <laughs> it's a whole different thing if you're alone at home, at home reading these. Um, so I have two guests with me. I will let you guys introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really sound that way. <laughs> Mindy's using her podcast voice. Yeah, she's, 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 she's using, using her inside voice. We'll see how many I use. <laughs> um, hey, I'm Desiree. And uh, as always, Emily is also here. Hello. You'll be hearing her popping in here and there. Hi, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Yeah. Get closer to the, mic. the next story. <laughs> you have to practically make out with about it. the first story. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss it. Um, and as we said earlier, feel free to jump jump in at any point in the story. Um, don't worry about interrupting. So, first story. I was working night shift on my oncology floor. We're sadly the floor where a lot of oncology patients go to die or transition to hospice, then die. I was doing my hourly rounds around 1 a.m. when I passed by a patient's room. I heard someone bawling their eyes out. I walked past and immediately stopped and walked in. I saw what appeared to be a female visitor bent over the sleeping patient's bed, crying their eyes out. (laughs) 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 I turned to my left to grab some gloves out of habit in order to completely help the patient and their sobbing visitor. But when I looked up and walked into the room, The crying stops, and there was no one there except the sleeping patient. Oh, that's unexpected. Oh, that's unexpected. <laughs> I, don't like it. I checked the entire room, and I checked inside the bathroom to make sure I wasn't crazy. I asked the other nurses if they saw any new visitors go into that room, and they all looked at me like, who's coming here at 1 a.m.? To this day, I'm still freaked out by the incident. <laughs> I'm a huge believer in spirits and energies, so having an incident like that freaked me out. Maybe it was the night shift brain. Maybe it was a ghost. Who knows? All I know is I saw someone bent over the bed, Clara's day. Sorry. <laughs> what, the bent over the bed? <laughs> I saw this ghost. <laughs> and <laughs> all I know is I saw someone bent over the bed, Clara's day, and as audible as anything. But as soon as I walked in there, there was nothing there. Wait, so was, the, was there a patient yeah. there? There was a patient in the room, and she, she was walking by, and she heard someone, like, crying. I'm telling you, and she there's looked, one in every unit. I just yeah. punched the mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad. Uh, there's one in every unit, for sure. Yeah. Have you guys had uh, supernatural experiences I've at work? I've had multiple. Really? Yeah. Mine are mostly like outside of the hospital. I just got really oh, hot Oh, that's right worse. I would <laughs> hate, like, you can haunt me at the hospital. I don't want anything no, happening. Not really. <laughs> I, like, I'm nervous. You, you've had a lot. I've had a lot. Actually, when we were working together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be like, do you see that guy? I'm like, do you see that guy? And she's like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> and I'm not a believer. She's like, don't sit next to me. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, what happened? You you saw... Um, I mean, I think my I the one that I remember the most is probably at my old hospital. And it's like pretty old hospital, community hospital. And um, it, of course, it's always on night shift. Yeah. And I this guy was dying. And I knew that he had family members, but no one had come to visit him. No one was by him. And he was already dying that night and he was going to go probably like within an hour. And I remember sitting down and like looking over and 
seeing someone walk into the room and I'm like, oh shit, someone came and I actually finally visited him. And within 10 minutes, like I saw him on the monitor flatline. Yeah. So he was a DNR. So we weren't going to code him or anything. So I walk into the room and I'm like, how fucking weird. There's no one in the room. Yeah. And so I'm like cleaning him up. And then I asked my charge nurse and I was like, hey, yo, did you see the family member where they went? They need to sign the paper. And and he was like, what are you talking about? There was no one here. Yeah. And I was like, no, someone walked into the room <laughs> and it was clearly a family member. Like what night was this? Was this third in a row? <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, after a couple shots of tequila <laughs> and I decided to go I to work. Called in. I called in. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, it was like, I remember because it was my first year being a nurse. So it was a long time ago. Not that long ago. Let's, let's just be <laughs> real. A long time. <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing someone walk into the room and and I described him. Like I described it was actually a woman yeah. who I saw and I described her and everybody was like, You're out of your mind, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Okay. I saw what I saw. I saw what I saw. <laughs> yeah. I've uh, I seen it. I <laughs> That, that's what, what who is the guy in that picture it's from like hot tub time machine or yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, i forgot his name yeah funny. I but i've never had anything supernatural happen that i couldn't like explain away like something weird would happen and you'd like get the creeps and i'm like no no, no it must be this right right, right. But i've never had anything like that where i've been like no i definitely saw that I definitely saw she has a lot of that, i have a actually. lot of them she, like you want to chime in there mindy you're premonition -y. it's weird like you'll have a dream about something and then the next day it's like kind of happening and I'm getting married in two weeks and she said she had a dream about her breaking her hand and I just can't handle it. You're like, what does that so mean I'm, for my dream? Yeah, I'm getting a little anxious about that. Well, I'm supposed to do her hair for part of the wedding and I had a oh. dream that I broke my hand and I called her right away and I was like, listen, what might happen is that I break my hand and I can't and do your hair. I'm super vain, so like that just won't do. <laughs> but, it's your wedding. You're yeah. Like, yeah. But You don't have any? I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm useless. So the ones that I've had were like, so I've worked in like inner city hospitals. And I guess the couple that I had, one I was leaving, I used to work in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And like security would have to walk you to your car if you walk, if you worked past like 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, not union, unionized back east. So um, <laughs> they'd be like, oh, your nurse didn't show up you have to stay another six hours. And I'd be like, oh, for sure, PTO. <laughs> or like overtime, not PTO. <laughs> so um, they're walking me one time and the security guard got freaked out. Like he started like getting anxious about somebody following us. And so I thought that I saw something. He thought he saw something. You're both just hyping each other. We were definitely <laughs> each other out something. and we were both spiraling. It was like 2 a.m., I don't have more juicy details. <laughs> no, no, it was just no. both of us being, he's like, let's rush to your car. And like, he rushes me to my car and it sounds very really exciting. He's, like play, he's playing a prank on you. a highly anxious person. So the fact if someone was just like, what was that? She's like, what is that? What is it? What is, what is it? it? Who is it? Who is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's Why? going on? Yeah. So lots of paranoia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of ghost stories. Lots of paranoia <laughs> <laughs> over here. <laughs> no ghosts, no just anxiety. Just crippling anxiety. That's the Xanax. All right, next story. I had a post-surgical patient die on the toilet unexpectedly. Coded her, but couldn't get her back. The next patient that was in that room asked who the woman standing next to the RN was, but there wasn't anyone there. He described the previous patient exactly as she was. Um, when we tried to get him into the bathroom to get washed up, he refused and said the woman was now sitting on the toilet. Oh. <laughs> she had a poopy. Oh. Yeah, that's not the way I want to die. That's, no, that's weird. But that happens a lot, though. People code on the toilet like, all the time. I feel like yeah. uh, it's, that's you know, if a person, like a patient's like close to death. Yeah. They're like just bearing down is yeah. game over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah like, why would they ever be on a toilet? <laughs> but Well, you know, yeah, people who are issue. like, they come in and like they've been sick for years and yeah. but they're still like med surge. Nothing's happening right at right, that moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I mean is like, I feel like surge. I feel like people who are closer to death most have a lot of these like bowel movements. No, <laughs> 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 have a lot of these like situations where they see people who have already passed. Oh, on. Oh like, yeah. Right. Totally. Like when they're like a little bit close. That's when I get worried about my patient. I'm like, who did you see? What was it? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, let me check I your vitals right now. Yeah. Let's get your labs going right away. Yeah. <laughs> that type of stuff. Actually, you I saw what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what, Let's try who, who was he? <laughs> yeah, no, legit. When like I had one patient who was calling out for her mom, and like you know that happens all the time. Yeah, like when you're the delirium yeah. and everything. But she was <laughs> there. She is. 
mom, mom, and like yelling because she's 88. And I was like, no, 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 not your mom. (laughs) I was so pissed. (laughs) VTAC. You know, there you go. And then like 30 minutes and I was like, great, excellent, awesome. I saw this happening, but because it was actually, she gave us a little bit of a warning, I was able to call everybody over. (laughs) That's so weird though. Like like, what is that? I I believe in that. Like I'm not a believer Mm -hmm. in certain things, but that type of stuff. I'm like, if you're calling out for mom, you're leaving. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm yeah, if, you're, if you're in your 80s and you <laughs> yeah, start yeah. saying mom, that's. No, mom's not here. <laughs> if mom's, mom's here. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Third story. <laughs> there was a lady who was for sure alter mental status. She kept banging on the side rails and I wasn't her primary nurse, but I walked by and she said, honey, can you tell those two dead guys to get out of my room? Oh, hell no. And I said, um, <laughs> excuse me. And she said, are those two guys guys in the chair dead? Am I dead? I told her, let me check on that and I'll get back to you. I'm dead. Wait, she was going to check on if she was dead? She's like, am I dead? (laughs) She calmly said, sounds good. We had two hospice men on the floor who died later that night. And unexpectedly, she died that night also. She was there because she had had a fall at home and she had cancer. So she was DNR, but we didn't expect it to happen that night. How nuts is it that she knew all three of them would be dead by the end of the shift? I'm telling you, she had the she had the feelings, the feels. They yeah. all had a little meeting. Yeah, they had a little yeah. meeting. They're like, so we're going to take that one out first. <laughs> we're going to take that one. You take that one in the back seat. Yeah. We're all going to go. Okay. 12th of December, we're all in it together. It's not good. Do you believe now? I'm a believer of certain things. Like, What is certain things? Grandma calling out for mom. Like, mom's not around. <laughs> But I don't know. I just like, you know, so if a patient, if a patient who's with it tells you they see a ghost, do you believe them or are you just like, like, I say, I say, night, night, go to bed. No, no, no. I don't think so. But I mean, we're not doing this. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Yeah. I choose to not believe actually. That's probably it. Like I can't, my, my crippling anxiety wouldn't allow it. Yeah. Yeah. If this is real. Yeah. (laughs) No, I can't take it. Yeah. Working as a PICU nurse, I looked after a toddler who had been injured in an accident where they were going to withdraw care on him the following day. I got home and I went to sleep and I had a dream he was in my bed with me, intubated, and he suddenly opened his eyes and laughed. I woke up with a fright and texted the work group chat. I realized later that night at work that he appeared in my dream 10 minutes before they extubated him and 15 minutes before he died. Oh, he laughed when he was intubated? Sorry, yeah. the nurse in me won't allow me to not ask that. No, no, she, she's, yeah, I got you. I don't know. I wasn't there for the dream, but. It's weird, Amy. But know. also in a dream, you know, you assume people can do. It's whatever, whatever, yeah. yeah. It's a dream. You're it's right. Creepy. Facts check out. <laughs> um, okay, oh, so bad. my first nursing job was working nights at a 75 bed nursing home. And there were four different wings. At this home, we had several patients with pretty advanced dementia. Every now and then we would start to hear our dementia patients down one wing start screaming. So myself and an aide would go down and check on them and see what was going on. Oh my God. This is why I would never work in a dementia oh, wing. Yeah, that just like you're begging for, wing, yeah. for creepy things to happen. <laughs> uh, we would go in there and the resident would be sitting up in bed, terrified and screaming, pointing to the ceiling, saying there was a tall black man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, all right, guys, I got to come clean. Five, six, don't <laughs> oh, yeah. forget I was standing in a stool in the corner of their rooms. Um, (laughs) we would go in there and the resident would be sitting up in bed, terrified and screaming and pointing at the ceiling saying there was a tall black man in their room. And they would all say they saw it go into the vent near the ceiling. Soon after we would hear a black man. Yeah. Just sliding through vents. He must be slender. First of all, why is he got to be black? Yeah. (laughs) The ghost. It's a preferred, uh, attire. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Apparently. Uh, soon after we get the first resident to calm down, another dementia patient uh, down a different wing would start screaming and would all report that a tall black man was in their room and had dis- disappeared through the vents before entering their room. This would happen every now and then, and every time it would happen, it was only our dementia residents, but always the same night, and they were always down different wings. What really creeped me out is that the next one wouldn't start screaming until the tall black man had traveled through the vent in the previous resident's room. Also, keep in mind, these demented uh, patients didn't. Yeah, they were. They were friends. They, they, they weren't all besties hanging out. <laughs> this is unusual. 
Also keep in mind, these are people who have their short memory impaired and they didn't have any contact with each other during the day slash evening when they were completely in different wings and didn't even sit at the same table for meals. They literally could only react and report what was happening to them in the moment. And some of them were to the stage where 90% of their speech was totally disorganized and incoherent. This sounds like the saddest place First on of earth. all, yeah. why are they keeping these people separate? It's so sad. This is a jail. And where is this? Any details? second of all, where is, what this, state is this dementia in? wing? So we've never mm-hmm. sent anybody there. She Third of all, Evie, what there. are you doing sliding into these vents? How it's, are it's you what, thinking them? I got to create the content, you know? So <laughs> it sounds like a call for help. She yeah. Also, he's not tall. He's five six and stands on. That's the right. Floor, They're so. looking at me right now. Yeah, at I, five, see, I, six. I can confirm. <laughs> Another <I see> it. <laughs> people who don't follow me and like find this podcast are be like, "What is this about?" <laughs> um, follow. There's and, my far end. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing with these residents that would creep me out, but happened when I started working charge on day shift, is that these same dementia patients would ask me who the little girl was that was following me around. Of course, I would look around to see if a visitor's child had maybe decided to hang with me, but there wasn't anyone there. Again, I got creeped out because it was multiple times this happened with different dementia patients that saw this little girl, and they all consistently described her the same way. A little girl in the blue dress, blue eyes, cute long braids with a ribbon. Red rum. Yeah. It's very shiny. It's very shiny. I'm like, I've seen this movie. (laughs) This isn't going well. (laughs) On numerous occasions, the dementia patients would say, it's okay, you can come with me. And they would act as if they were taking the girl from my side and walking uh, down the hall with her. Is this the same story? Same story. Oh my God. Two parts. Who is this? We need yeah. we need to dig deeper Let's, into this. Yeah. It's more, it's more haunted than does. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm haunted. <laughs> <laughs> the particular nursing home, as this particular nursing home has been around for hundreds of years. Oh, there it is. And there are rumors that it was built... <laughs> That they built the new building in a town that On it was built over a graveyard. <laughs> yeah. In Missouri. Yeah. Where is this? Is this in New Hampshire <laughs> or Maine or wherever Stephen King writes this book? Yeah, pretty much. She Definitely. just sits in the middle of the. Yeah, is this just literally. Just the nurses that work at the, the dementia hospitals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is where he got the idea for The Shining, pretty much. This, is it. this, is it. this yeah. story. It was a hotel. She sent him a draft of this. You know what? The other rumor was that when the original home was in operation, some shady things had happened, and these unsettled spirits attached themselves. Karen, we're getting real what? deep. Yeah. Conspiracy theory. Are you Susan, covering up? Like, we need more. Down. We need more. This is not adding up. <laughs> 75 bed. Are there windows in this house? There's just <laughs> I feel like they're all it's on like top of a dark an Indian <laughs> burial ground. Either way, I only worked there about a year and I got the heck out. Oh, I've never had any other ghost experiences in any of my other jobs. All right, Karen. Karen, you guys aren't buying that one. She's scarred for life. She, no, no, I'm a I believer. honestly, I buy it. Old I'm people, a believer. Actually, you know, I'm I'm flip flopping. I really don't know. <laughs> that's I wait. Mean, I feel like that's too detailed of a story. I mean, she either should write a novel or she's telling the truth. Oh, you think like she might have made it up? No, I don't. I don't. No, I believe it just, her. It just sounded like the premise to like, um, like you guys predicted every plot yeah. twist along the way. Yes, Built it's on a graveyard. You know that mm-hmm. show on MTV that used to like drop people off in like abandoned mental institutions Fake like, previously? News. I did not you, see the show. On but MTV it was MTV incredible. used to like on. pump what? out she and. Did. What was the show called? It was called something. It's like no, I have no idea. Actually, I can't. No, no, no it's a real show. It's a I know. Real show. No, I know it's a real show. I just. I'm not, I'm not, also, like, this is like on like, National Geographic. It sounds like just, this dementia wing slash makeshift hospital that she's describing needs to be like retired into this the type show. of show. Yeah. Fear. Fear. That's what it is. Yes. 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 I was going to say yeah. scare tactics. Is that a show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, scare That's tactics show. is something else where they like literally mm. test, like they bring out your biggest fears. Mine would be spiders. Don't do it. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I've, Mindy has made me cry are... because of spiders, by the way. She's the worst person ever. That's true. Yeah, she might have gotten bit by a brown recruit, but or I did get bit by a brown recruit. Recruit, <laughs> recruit. I did get bit by a brown recruit. She didn't get bit. I did. Recruits. She doesn't believe me. No. Well, it what? was confirmed that was a brown. Recruit How was it confirmed by did you- my sight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, Self-diagnosed, uh, self paranoid Mindy's anxiety didn't want to believe that it was a brown recluse, but it was a brown recluse. My whole legs swelled up. And the thing about brown recluses, no, I still can't can say the word. Do it. Do <laughs> That's do the thing about is them. that if you're bitten once, mm. other brown recluses are like drawn to you. Is that true? <laughs> That's not true. Right. Are you not sure? But yeah, I, I, was, I was like, if that's true, that's horrifying. Like they come to like finish this is up what the job. She told me after I got bit, I, and I have a fear of spiders. She's like, we have I to get out of here. Instantly started to cry. 
cry. It was immediate tears. Like she hysterically cried. <laughs> we got to get out of here before they get here. Oh my God, I'm hot. I'm sweating now. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it gets a little warm in here. No, I, it's just because I have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> what if something just dropped on you right now? <laughs> Somebody cry. I just stop talking. I'm afraid of spiders too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the next one? As a brand new new grad, I was working on a acute medical slash palliative unit. One night I was rounding on my palliative patient who was non-responsive previously, but now was awake and talking. She kept saying over and over uh, that there was a little girl who had just come over and given her a candy. Oh my God, always with the little girl. Yeah. What was she doing giving her candy? Was she wearing a blue dress and had pigtails? We're about to find out. <laughs> she even had her hands closed around something oh. that she was holding Spider. like candy. When I opened her hand, it was empty. Super sus. Uh, yeah. I looked everywhere, but no family was, was in tonight. I went out to one of the older nurses to see if they had seen any kids around. It was almost 3 a.m. And the nurses started laughing. Oh, that's one of our ghost kids. <laughs> Apparently, the unit had been a palliative peds so unit. Not July. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, <laughs> that's one of the ghosts. <laughs> Like, oh, excuse that's just me? a ghost kid, and it's fine. Like, we didn't <laughs> cover this in orientation. <laughs> Apparently, the unit had been a palliative peds unit before it turned into a medical palliative oh, unit for sad. adults. And patients back. regularly saw small kids giving them candy right before they passed. She suggested I call the family ASAP. The patient died two hours later. Oh. See, I told you. Close to death. This, this happened three more times in the six months I worked on that unit. Oh. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep it rolling. Yeah, I got, sorry. I got, no, no. I only have sad reactions. To that <laughs> one. I'm just like, poor Graham. <laughs> Let her have the candy. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even real. Punked her with some fake, <laughs> Let her fake candy. And then <laughs> I remember one time I gave my grandma the candy. She had like really bad diabetes. Her A1C was like probably fucking 12. <laughs> and I would just give her sugar-free candy and she would get so pissed because she fucking knew. She fucking knew it was sugar-free candy. She would chuck it at people. And then <laughs> she also had dementia. R.I.P. Grandma. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't too like soon. see her don't here or something. Too soon, too soon. It's been ten years too soon. You're not like <laughs> a candy like fall on you now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's probably is oh, that what man, that is? Things are gonna happen. <laughs> is that what's happening to me? She's gonna night? throw sugar pe- it's free honestly, piece. Honestly, it's probably my boyfriend eating the candy in bed Spider in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> All right, next story. Uh, my unit used to be a pediatric unit before we converted to a neuro ICU. It's always peds. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mm-hmm. have no. I don't have a lot of comments about peds because I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like units that were previously peds and then switched to something. I worked on a unit like that, and the the um, patients would say stuff like, "Hey, can you tell the neighbors' kids to be quiet?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure, we'll let them know." That's oh, when I give my notice them no to kids. quit. Yeah. No, that would <laughs> That's be when it. I'm out. <laughs> they were funny. Always does out. They were funny. Nothing. Nothing more. Friend, friendly. Friendly ghosts. They were friendly. They were friendly. loud. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple of rooms in the back corner that are haunted. Uh, being a newer ICU, we deal with a lot of delirium, mm. but there's something about these two rooms that always stand out. Multiple times we've had patients ask us why there are two children standing at the foot of their bed. Mm. On that particular Mm-mm. stand, nope. one that particularly stands out is when a patient asks, why are there children covered in blood skipping around my room? <laughs> oh my God. Patients, the patient <laughs> always claim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Patients always claim that they see two kids. Never one. It's always a pair. That's shiny. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's well, first of all. Why are these kids covered in blood? Who was taking care of them, and what happened? Yeah. What's what's the what's the backstory on that one? They were trauma patients. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's so sad. I did. I, I do know. have a ghost story. <laughs> I do not work. Yeah. For that reason. Kind of yeah. has to deal with blood. So there was, I don't see, I believe this is real. Everybody says that it's probably real because they've also seen something similar to this in the basement, not at our hospital that we work at to be unnamed. And (laughs) it was our other, my other hospital I worked at and we had to go. It was a janky hospital. It wasn't. I'm sorry. I, I take that bad. Everyone's listening. Everyone's, Everyone's judging listening. Yeah, I apologize if you know me. I don't mean it. I still work there. <laughs> it's um, janky. It's, it's not janky. It's nice-ish. Um, so you would have to like take the lab sometimes or go down to pharmacy and it was in the basement. Yeah. And the, I just remember seeing this man who had, he was in a, a doctor's coat, a white coat. 
And he had this like really old briefcase with him, but he had like a bloody glove on. And I was like, ew, that's fucking gross. How weird. And why are you touching your briefcase with a bloody glove? And then I remember turning around and then not seeing him and, I, and just being like, oh, that was strange. I must have, he must have turned. Yeah. But there's like nowhere for him to go. go. Yeah. So I remember telling someone else this and they're like, oh yeah, that's doctor. I don't remember what the name they said. Also, he's been dead for a thousand he's been years. Dead for like two years. <laughs> And no, but really, that's what they said. They they said he died like 15 years ago, and people see him all the time in the hallways. No. And why wouldn't he change his glove? Yeah, why didn't he change his glove? I want to know the backstory so, of that, but yeah. I don't know. I'm actually. just really thankful for the glow up of the hospital we work at now because I used to work in a place like that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad when they send you to the basement. Yeah. It's so sad. Some people in some hospitals. They make you bring the bodies down. They yeah, make the nurses I've, bring the bodies I down. I have worked at a place like that. And, uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can finish up the verse. So. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> 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 um, Seriously, it's terrible. They make you do it all and bring bring them down. We have them. a nurse that will not ever be in the room with a dead body. Yeah. You know who we're talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> really? <clears throat> too much too much paranoia. <laughs> yeah. She just can't. She believes in that stuff. What, Shit, what does she think will guess. happen? Like, it's just bad. I think it's more religious, actually. You think so? Yeah. She's more like, she she's very, very religious. So, like, being in there with a the dead body. And she's mentioned something about, like, if they haven't been, if they're not blessed or if they're not, you know, things aren't. She will shove me. Yeah. Fully shove me into the room. You don't even have to help. You just have to be in the room. Yeah, you just have to be in the room. <laughs> She'll shove me in the room. I've <laughs> definitely been pushed by her. <laughs> Help. Oh, you, you sound like you're filing a formal complaint. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I've worked at a hospital where you have to take the body to the morgue and the morgue is in the basement and it's not creepy. Usually till, it takes two people to yeah. bring that down. So at least you're not alone. Yeah. And if you do see some shit, then you have a witness. Have you guys ever been in a morgue? To the morgue in the hospital? Oh, not, not at the, not there. Not at that not, one. Not at that one that you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but at an old hospital. Like there was, right at my other hospital, they were redoing the morgue because we had too many dead bodies, so they had to make it bigger. So they had a morgue outside that was in a container. <sighs> no. That shit was crazy. No, no. <laughs> and, no. That was crazy. Oh. Yeah, that's... It was like in a refrigerated container outside. I've, uh... It's a good thing it's refrigerated. Refrigerated. No, like, why, why <laughs> I've worked at a place that the the morgue was just kind of located close to the cafeteria. Oh, yeah, that was poor design. What are you? Kidding? What meat is it today? <laughs> You'll <Patient>. never know. <laughs> but yeah, everyone would always make jokes about that. But it was like cafeteria, and then you go down maybe like thirty more feet into some back. That's corners poor design. Morgue. Who was the yeah. architect for that? That was definitely like a afterthought kind of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh shit, we they forgot to build the morgue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they cut half of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, we need hey, the refrigeration. Hey, here, so we're just bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, no. uh, all right. Next. Next. Uh, we're damaged. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, god. You newbies, you just wait. It happens <laughs> yeah. to you too. You don't, you don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, you were gonna know. <laughs> Sorry. We're no. gonna shock anybody who's not a nurse that's listening. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. sorry guys. Nurse speaks, We're actually though, right? very compassionate, <laughs> yeah. caring people, Mindy yeah, no. and I. Not really Mindy, but no, we me. Care. We care. We care. We care. We do care. No, I, I think I it's care. good for people who aren't nurses to like hear nurses talking about this stuff. Yeah. It's, I, a, it's an outlet, right? Yeah. And also, it's just, I think it uh, creates like a little bit of understanding. So, yeah, absolutely. Why some of our stuff might seem so. Not PC. Yeah. 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 But there's right. a lot. Yeah. Ghosts, dead bodies. I, yeah. Like, you're, you're going to start making some up. They Crazy expect family. us to, like, be, or it, I think you're right because it kind of, the nurse doctor role makes it seem like you're supposed to know everything. You're supposed to be this type of person, but, and like, be different we're seeing the, death all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, on a you're also basis. supposed to be, like, above it, too. Like, every, right. like, there's this thing where, like, you're a nurse, you're supposed to be, like, a perfect person. Yeah. And it's not, we're still human. Yes. Evie's perfect. So. Uh, so there's one. There's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next uh, story. I was a CNA at a nursing home for nuns during nursing school. And we had one sister who had fallen several times. So we had her as many different alarms as possible. A lap belt, a wheelchair alarm, a bed alarm, etc. Her room was always noisy and some of the alarms were constantly going off. And she was really upset by all the commotion all the time. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> I know <laughs> like, I just <laughs> 
<laughs> she also had dementia and could be pretty confused or pretty with it, fluctuated all the time. One day, the day shift CNA went in to ask her if she wanted to go to the afternoon activities, and she replied, I can't, my father is coming to get me. The CNA just thought mm, she was confused, I'm telling you. Mm. so left her in the chair uh, recliner. 30 minutes later, she died. Dad's not coming. Oh, dad I came. Mean, he, he did came, come yeah. for her. He came. <laughs> it wasn't late. Uh, 15 minutes after <laughs> she died, all the fire alarms in the building started going off all oh. over the building for no reason. Oh. The rest of the night, call lights were beeping and our pagers. Meanwhile, the nurse is the one who's pulling all the fire alarms and being like, <laughs> look, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the night, our, our pagers and call lights kept beeping, even in rooms uh, where residents weren't living. And we couldn't get them to cancel. So empty rooms were beeping for every four minutes on our pagers for our eight-hour shift. Who is she mad? Who, this patient was mad. This Who sister was, was a huge prankster. She oh, got all of us good, gave us all the alarms right back our way on our way out. Yeah, I'd love to hear how she That was, was her fucking mic lady. drop right there. Yeah. She was like, what? <laughs> She's like, you may, you want noise? I'll give you noise. I'll give you some fucking noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah, how Mindy's she, gonna go out. Yeah. I feel like she was like, hold on, Dad. I gotta do something real <laughs> yeah, quick. Hang on, Dad. <laughs> hold on, Papa. Hold on, Pops. <laughs> you, uh, will you wait at those pearly gates for me? Hold on one second. <laughs> Handed off report to another nurse in the morning. The guy had been there a while. It was a brief uh, report slash update. Report included things like his labs are getting worse. They don't want dialysis. He took off his nasal cannula. He sat in his 60s. Um, probably would have go. go. I know. Palliative. Let yeah. him go. Probably would be happier going home on hospice mm -hmm. than staying here. But he's still full code. Mm. I go home and sleep. In my dream that day, Not a bad. doc was rounding on the patient in that bed and wrote a procedure to do on the board. And then a ghost wrote over the note saying, there is no room 33. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back it up here. Are we <laughs> saying that we saw this ghost write on the update the whiteboard for the nurse? <laughs> because that's a legit <laughs> management That's approved. a legit management nurse right there. <laughs> that was administration. <laughs> who died in the hospital <laughs> somehow and was like, update your fucking board, Karen. <laughs> it's the last thing I did. We gotta remind it's you in your fucking thing. dreams. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna start killing patients till you, till you update these boards. <laughs> so, <laughs> what if um, free? They don't have to pay them. I know. So, I ran to the dream patient's room and he was gasping for breath and coded, then I woke up. Oh, this is a dream. <laughs> this is, this is still a dream. Sorry, my bad. Is, <laughs> <laughs> I go, Even management is uh, updating her I'm boards like, in her dream. Yeah. <laughs> what a legit nurse. I go to work that night, and after 45 minutes, I wake up. Real life patient in the same room coded four times before they could get him transferred to the ICU. So a ghost in my dream told me a patient would die. But can mm -hmm. you, is it possible to be a ghost in someone's dream? I mean, I think anything's Why not? Pro well, possible. Possible. So, so you just, <laughs> it just means you're having a dream that. I, well, they say no, like, okay, I don't, I is don't Is that actually, a ghost or I mean, a dream of a ghost? Like, I feel like those oh, are two oh, different okay, things. we're getting a little deep here. You just I'm just. Dreams or something or what happened? <laughs> I, I'm just saying, it's like, if you see a ghost in your dream, can you say you saw a ghost or you just had a dream about a ghost? Right, that's not the same as saying I saw a ghost. Like nothing but super supernatural happened. She's happens. never she's... met this person, right? Wait, is it who is this person? A we patient knew she had got. A... <laughs> yeah, sorry. yeah. Sorry. My two guests here. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking. Yeah, I'm just talking to the microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> this place is nice. Who are you? <laughs> Um, she gave report on this patient, went home, went to bed, had a dream about the patient. Oh, oh she, knows she the patient. did she meet knows the patient. patient. So How do yeah. we know that the patient was a ghost? No, no, the patient the wasn't patient. a ghost. <laughs> Pay <Hey>, attention. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. We're going next. <laughs> yeah. We're clearly not. I, do believe, mm -hmm. I, I think that if it's a ghost in your dream, it's still a ghost. Is it the and actual ghost? Like, where she's like, okay, so dream? if you have a dream about yeah, a zombie. Are zombies yeah, real? I, I almost thought about that. Zombies are not real. <laughs> <laughs> that's a right. firm she stance for someone who believes. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no, but I feel like let's talk dream, about zombies. The, the say, no, let's not talk about it. zombies. Are not real. It's okay, only well, okay. If you have a dream about a ghost, that is not the same thing as seeing a ghost. No, it's not. You're right. Uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. 
I don't know, because I feel like your dream state could be interpreted. I don't believe a lot of this mumbo jumbo. I'm just like word vomiting it. So, um, but uh, you know, people say, Karen, (laughs) that the dream state is like a different plane where other spirits can enter through. Right. And like, yeah. So they're like, are they floating? I mean, not floating. I don't know. I mean, I literally imagined a woman just like floating in the air over you. You guys can't see this, but arms are being flapped. (laughs) I forgot they can't say <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, next story. So I was working at my first job as a LNA. It was at a Catholic uh, SNF a sniff, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I came in one morning for a report, it's and so both. Easy. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew <laughs> you were about to. Say, I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> all right? about all it's only been like. Uh, little people. Uh, first okay. of all, this Damn, is. Damn, person this, changed. You. <laughs> I, I don't want to say this on here, but. This is like the longest I've been away from that particular oh, yeah, segment no, okay. of oh, oh, work. Sorry. Actually, no, this Hit is not the spot. longest. I, I, no, no, no. I was gone for like nine months before I oh, came wow. right back. Yeah. Do you have a baby? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, now. just had to hide this child real quick. <laughs> um, had to whack. No, I. So I, many fun rumors. <laughs> I love rumors. I start them myself usually. Yes, you do. So no, you start <laughs> fires. You're five, six. Are you kidding? You light the match and then you're like, go and a virgin fire. Here well, we go. you know, the reason behind that though is people are crazy. We need people. Yeah, talking. it's easier to not like people want to know personal stuff, and if you just give them something else, they forget about Lay asking personal EDB. stuff. For a Don't bit. give away your you're secrets, like, what EB. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no secrets. Let's say all this yeah, secrets. that's true. I don't know. <laughs> Get a couple tequila. Shots Everything he says is true. Yeah, yeah, believe yeah, everything I say on that website. Yeah. Yep. Um, I came in one morning for a report, and both LNAs were shaking and almost in tears. When I asked them what happened, they said that our comfort measure patient had passed away. Not thinking anything of it, I asked why they were so visibly upset. They told me that while she was passing away, she was screaming, Don't let him drag me, don't let him drag me, dear Lord, don't let him take me. Oh my God. Obviously, that was super creepy, as is. But when they went in and turned on the lights to do postmortem care, there was a giant three foot claw mark on the wardrobe. No. That's Shut not up. real. Shut up. Oh, Come all, on. All the all the furniture had been replaced that day and I didn't even hear that uh, I didn't go near that room for a month. Here's a picture. No, I'm kidding. There's no picture. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was so stoked. I really, I really like this a Photoshop picture of some, you know. Sounds but, like Jen really wanted her story read. Yeah. And it's okay, Jen. She created it. Appreciate you. Monster. <laughs> but Evie reading it with yesterday was like, oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are laughing now because it's like five people in a comfortable room joking around, but you read this shit by yourself. I'm you telling you. Right. I need you right. to shut your I'm, mouth right now. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, for one of these uh, podcast episodes, we're just going to do one that's just like me reading these ghost stories. And we'll, okay, that's gonna haunt we'll put some creepy music in the background. I'll read it. Mindy's passed out. I mean, me re- yeah, I'm already passed out. <laughs> um, me reading them on your story already when I'm like about to go. To oh, bed. I already throw my phone. No, I, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I swipe. I, I that swipe. sounds creepy, but like, first of all, EB posts like tea. 50. Yeah, give me the tea. I want yeah. the tea. <laughs> 50, 50 stories on his thing. I'm like, too many ghost stories. I can't. I'm scared. I am into the ghost stories, to be clear. I am. I'm into them. Yeah, it's like, I. they're my favorite too. But like, like I said, like, I don't like doing them at, yeah. at night especially he's sweating everybody he's yeah. sweat. it's warm in here <laughs> so so i We're am sweating sweat to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> to be but it, it is not because of the ghost stories mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. whatever you need to tell yeah you know. whatever. <laughs> i know okay. when i get this episode back and i listen to it i will not be listening to it at home by myself though <laughs> yeah, so it's scary. It's scary. but it might be fun with all the laughter and happiness <laughs> in the background so that's really what we do as nurses just yeah like laugh we just at the fear yeah, yeah. We, have yeah. A, we have we laugh the fear and anxiety away and all the sadness so that we just push it down deep deep yeah. deep yeah. i really meant what i said earlier no like, yeah we have to response it's our way to of coping that should be like oh my god oh my god <laughs> it's a shield. our response is like <laughs> <laughs> Not no real. way you no know, because real. like my brain can't take that <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, we would be crippled yeah. and never work in nursing ever if we ever had to actually deal with our problems. Yeah. No. no, the the meme account started right when I got to the ICU. Yeah. Oh. When I first started working in the ICU, I was just like, I'm going to tell everybody how I met you. Yeah. It's, Sorry. It's, it's important because he was in his little she corner. She stopped him, by the way, everybody. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. But he was in a little corner and there's corners of the unit. Too. You weren't on. Yeah. You, yeah. You came running up to me and told me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he was in a corner. Every ICU has like one corner that's like completely forgotten. And Evie was in the corner. <laughs> that's and where we put it all the travelers. Yeah. 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 The, like, the traveler corner. Sounds like a traveler thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the two it's patients safe. are like it's completely safe. fine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're time to make those things. Exactly. Yeah, okay, don't yeah we did that on purpose, actually. Asterisk, he never worked on his thing while he was at work. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's I mean, I didn't mean thing. I didn't mean thing like that. I meant like on his. He never account. worked on the thing. Not on the Ever. thing. No. On the account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my story. Okay, go ahead. So <laughs> sorry for interrupting. I am. Um, it's also right next to the restroom. So I'm like walking to the restroom, and I was also trying to like see if anybody needed help. It was the middle of the night. I'm bored, and I'm super helpful, and I'm one of the best <laughs> nurses on the internet. And <laughs> I can't wait to hear myself say that. Can we cut that? <laughs> so I walk by and I'm like, hey, are you okay over here? I've, I like haven't noticed that, you know, you've been in she this corner all by famous. yourself. And he turns around and he's like, oh, no, no, I'm all good. Thanks for asking. And I was like, hang on. <laughs> I know you. And I totally geeked out. Like, <laughs> For like one second, I just didn't even, I was just like, oh my God, and then, wait, I just saw your story. You're working here. Hey, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> and I'm like, I geeked out. It was hilarious. You did, you geeked out. We have, um, we have like this, uh, what do you call it? A group chat. Is that what that's called? What do the kids call it? What do the kids call it? <laughs> thing I, I silence. It's the group chat. <laughs> on my flip phone. Um, so we have this group chat with like all the nurses on the unit. And uh, I'm pretty sure, i pretty sure Mindy outed you on the, <laughs> the group chat. It was chat. like, Nurse Life RN is working on it. PSA. <laughs> You know, you know that five foot five guy who was at 57 the other five night? Six, let's not get it right. wrong. Yeah, give, give me my inch. Every inch counts. Every yeah. inch. <laughs> no. no pun intended. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Trying to avoid I'm this sorry. the whole time. <laughs> uh, you can't put us in a room together. <laughs> No, this is exactly what I expected. My boobs are sweaty. Anyways, it was great. I thought it was hilarious. Sweaty boobs. It's exactly as a spin. No. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I feel like the rest of the night we like became instant besties. Oh I talked God, to you the I whole time. I was very jealous. Yeah. I just was really happy to find out. Wait, do you know where you're from? Um, do you care? Uh, what, Let's not put from, that in there. Oh, no, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. He's from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I'm why I was like, what, what are you going to say? Where do you think I'm from? Where do you think I'm from, Mindy? I'm not from Chicago. But, <laughs> yeah. but it was like, you know, we both had been in hospitals where it wasn't so zhuzh. And we yeah. were like, oh my God, remember when you had to take a third ICU patient? Yeah, me too. Are you okay? Have you yeah. recovered? And we're like checking on each other. Talk about past traumas. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. No, were you ever a traveler? For six months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, neuro ICU. Mm. And yeah, it was hellish. But like people do it for much longer. <laughs> yeah. So. No, I, I got to say you guys um, always were super nice on that floor. Oh. Everyone. Yeah. It's a great floor. We're not going to say where, but it, it is. is the tip. I mean, it's misery, but it's the best floor. Yeah. It's the, no, I mean, I feel like every ICU is going to be like that, right? Totally, but it's totally. the people that you kind of work with. Oh my gosh, yeah. Right? And, I mean, and you know, when you come in as a traveler, like people... Most places people are like courteous and like say hi, but like you guys were, but they want you out of their way. Like they're like, but you guys were actually friendly. Like it was like, like I said that night when I, you're the best, you're you're (laughs) the best, you are. There's like three or four people that I feel like there's like similar stories. Like I was working, I was sitting in that little corner and they came and like, always in the corner. Poor Evie, don't put Evie in the corner. The corner is sweet though because it's like low pressure. So low key. Yeah. And then the people who come down there usually like take the initiative because they see you by yourself. Yeah. You okay? You're like, hey, yeah. you need someone to eat lunch with? <laughs> yeah. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I'm not sure if this can be considered one, but this happened to my coworker. We were working in the ED about a year prior. She had a man come in with chest pain who ended up going into pulseless VTAC. I believe he was only down less than two minutes after he was revived with a single shock. The man woke up, and the first thing out of his mouth was, I had the craziest dream. Obviously, my coworker was too busy trying to keep him stabilized to ask him what the dream was. I already believe him. Great, <laughs> he woke up. Yeah, yeah, like that's a great start <laughs> to the story. To Arctic yeah. Sun, good job, team. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Freeze his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but she told me she was curious about the dream. A few months after that, the man came in with chest pain again, and she remembered him because, well, he died on her for a minute or so. She asked him if he remembered what the dream was, and he goes, of course I do. I was sitting at a park bench with my mother talking to her. It made me so happy. It felt like we were talking for hours. She had been dead for 10 years now. (laughs) 
The last thing she said to me was, it's not your time, but I'll see you around. <gasps> Chills. Yeah, I believe yeah. that. 110%. I believe that. Hundy. Yeah. That's real. 110. I want to know how old this man was. Uh, can we meet him? I hope he was um, like, <laughs> who is this I person? just imagine. I believe like, it's that so hip stuff, out. I believe. I believe that shit. Like the yeah. whole. I'm picturing him as George Clooney for some reason. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. You're really romanticizing this <laughs> whole go, idea. <laughs> Comedy. Why? Why George Clooney? Stand down, Mindy. He's very handsome. I don't know. I have no idea. So you're picturing Ryan, the bench scene you, with promise. George Clooney and his mom this having could this. Could be a movie. Yeah, I was okay, gonna say. You should copyright it now. Before. I'm sure it is a movie <laughs> at some point it. in time, right? Oh, like wait, Reese yeah. Witherspoon was somehow in it or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He's Reese. been dead a thousand years. He's been dead a thousand years. <laughs> it's the ending to every one of these stories. No, I believe. <laughs> no, I believe that shit. That shit's real. Yeah. At the very end of reading all of this, I'm like. We're all dead. That's and, good. and you know what? All of this. We're dead. <laughs> what is this the sixth sense? Yeah. <laughs> you were invited here today <laughs> because you too are dead. <laughs> well, if you're listening to this podcast. Well, fuck. No, I have no. so much shit I need to do. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next story. One night, the call light kept going off in an empty room at the end of the hallway that was also empty. So no one was around in that room. Finally, I got sick of it and marched into the room and sternly said, stop pressing the button. And it never <laughs> went off sure. again. I have done that for sure. Yeah. And it never went off again. Good for you, <laughs> Jessica. Yeah, sometimes you just, <laughs> gonna you just gotta one. tell these ghosts. Like, yeah. They don't, yeah. they don't I'm know. I'm sorry, we're naming all these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the ghosts. <laughs> and the ghosts. Yeah. That was like a Terry. Terry needed to calm down with the call light. I would say <laughs> Gerald. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Terry and Jerry. Jerry is like the most doofy name ever. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jerry. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So that concludes our uh, episode on ghost stories. Um, just wanted to thank you guys who all sent stories in. And also, if you are enjoying this podcast and you would like to support us, the best way to do that right now is to buy merch. We are not sponsored by anyone. This is completely done in-house. And you can buy merch on the website, nursebeat.com. And also, you can also submit your stories on the website. Um, on the front page, there's a link that says submit stories. And you don't have to send one based on the topic or anything. If you have an interesting story you want to share with us, you can always feel free to send that story. Again, thank you guys. And uh, I hope you listen again next week. I know I will be. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha.